parking lot. We met a plow driver who already put in a long night last night and is back at it today. It's okay. Pays the bills. Because <laughs> it's winter time and usually the lawn services, we don't have work in the winter. We sit up till about March, so we're, we're, we're fortunate to get out here and get some money coming in. This woman oversees the plowing and planning for the company, and because her job doesn't require a lot of physical activity, she finds other ways to stay warm. We have to stay warm, so we're wearing layers. We've got long johns on, I've got ski pants on, I've got a, a coat with a fleece lining on. So my my scarf, my hat, and the hat from my coat. So it's layered up today. Layered up. It's the only way to be back out here live. You can see the pavement is bare because there's sand on it. But this is the type of thing we're looking for. The slush that used to be wet and soft this morning starting to harden. And that's what crews are worried about as we move overnight. Tom and Nicole, back to you. All right, thanks, Thank you, Ann. Ann. Well, continuing our team coverage now with the cleanup in Virginia Beach. Tell your side, Lauren Compton is live tonight. So, Lauren, how's the resort city dealing with the snow? Well, Nicole, they are sending out a lot of public works crews to go back out there and put that salt and sand abrasive down on the road. I am told they made a lot of great progress today, mostly because it was such a nice sunny day. And the city, the resort city has a lot of streets to cover, really. They have 900 primary roads. We're told they hit all of those and about 340 secondary roads. They try to hit most of those roads during events like this. They tell me they just don't have the resources to get to every single secondary road. So you're still going to see some icy, slushy, condi slushy conditions in those areas. But even though they've made a lot of progress today, public works officials say that you're still going to see some slush and they want people to take it easy. We don't want people to let their guard down just because the storm has passed and we've had a sunny day and things have calmed down. We're still going to have a lot of problems with ice, probably for at least the next 24 hours. So that's, uh, we're really not letting up. We're, we're thinking we've still got a lot to do here in the next 24 hours. And as the temperature drops, it will be even more important for you to be alert out on the roadway if you have to travel tonight. Public works crews are recommending that if you don't have to travel, don't because their crews will be out here on the road. I'm told about 32 of them will report in today. Depending on the weather will depend on how many go out and they will need all the room on the roadway they can get. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. And 10 on your side has detailed information from a few cities about what they are doing to keep the roads safe for you. In Portsmouth, public works crews have been working around the clock, removing snow and ice from the main roads. Dana Woodson told us the city has eight trucks on the road and 32 workers on snow detail. The city of Hampton says 70% of its main roads are clear now. There are some icy patches, so drivers should still be cautious there. Fred Gaskins from the city told 10 of your side crews have been over the main roads three times. They've put down more than 400 tons of salt.